One, two, three. So I asked for a medium water. This shit is movie theater size, bro. This has got to be like 40 some ounces at least. I'm a, min I'm a minimalist at heart. I love the idea of having just like a small amount of items to keep with me, carry, wear. But as a father, it's a bit difficult because it's not just you. It's you and your six kids and your wife. And with that requires a van. I feel I've grown to embrace the van life, but my preferred mode of transportation is a boosted board. When you want to go downtown, or you don't feel like finding the first parking spot available at Walmart, like the closest one, or you want to go on a mini little adventure, the boosted board is the way to go. I got the wife, you know, I'm on my way back. Let's see, message. Oh. Mm. Definitely had a little bit too much coffee this morning. Grab some Bojangles. This girl has seen a little bit of a rough day is a little dirty. I think we're gonna clean her up. Like this is what I was talking about with the battery, you turn it on and it just blinks red. And what that means. Flashing power button and a lit up second light where the battery charges on your boosted board could indicate one of several issues. Number one, one low battery issue. That's not the issue, we already charged it, so nope. Next is battery connection issue. Sometimes a loose connection between the battery and the board can cause power, but firmware issue. Occasionally, occasionally firmware glitches can cause odd behavior. Try resetting the board by holding the power button for 10 to 15 seconds. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11. We insisted that my mini X was suffering from the red light of death. Okay, looking at this little video, we've got battery issue, test another battery. Looking further, it looks more like my issue is red light of death. R-L-O-D, fatal error, which means she might be toast. I'm feeling a little bit snacky right now, I'm thinking the large waffle fry on the free-free for the 500 points. All right, let's go get that. Let's go. There's transactional cells and there's relationship uh, based cells and I'm moving more in that direction of just kind of being more relationship because when you're transactional you'll notice when you go into business you'll have a lot of one two three four little like transactional uh, just purchases from clients and that can feel a little disheartening after a while as you are trying to actually build relationships it's very hard to offer like really good long-term advice and long-term help 
it's kind of like if you were hired for one day at a company versus hired for a year or two years or three years. A little snacky snack. The waffle fries they hit. Drop Laura off at therapy. Have you guys uh, had therapy? I mean, it's good stuff. I've never had, um, except for when I was a kid after my mom died, I had like, uh, like child, um, like the, 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 the youth therapy or whatever you want to call it. I, I didn't have a good experience. Um, I wouldn't be opposed today. Although, like, talking to this camera, podcasting, all the things, it's therapy. A good donut? All right, next stop, you need to get the boys some food and then pick up mom. What is this? It's a crock keychain. <laughs> and yes, it's going to look cute. Look, it came in a fucking shoebox wrapped in the Shut the fuck up right now. So, a couple thoughts about the new vlog. Um, right now, I'm, I'm taking some time to figure out how to be consistent daily. You know, so I'm not saying we're doing daily, but that's the, the aim, that's the goal, to kind of just vlog about life. Now, the big problem that I've had in the um, past and ongoing is like, what's the subject matter? What's this channel about? Some of me wants to say filmmaking, some of me wants to say parenthood, some of me wants to say uh, like philosophy, some of you wants to say like business and personal brand. And at the end of the day, uh, I think it's just lifestyle. You know what I mean? Day in the life vibes with Will. And overall it is just building personal brand. And it's been very hard to do that because most of the advice out there is to pick a topic, stick to the topic, only post about that topic, and you'll grow a following. And what I really want to do is make creative little vlogs that I can do on a day-to-day -day basis. 